pests and moss poles, fungus gnats and moss poles. Tell me about what you do. Actually, I want to hear from you first. Well, honestly, people started coming at me with this question. I get so many fungus gnats on my moss poles, I don't like them. And I'm like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't get any fungus gnats on my moss poles. I'm just saying, honestly, like, it's so good that you're actually saying that as well, because I thought that maybe I'm just like, lucky, you know? <laughs> I'm the first one, I don't get fungus gnats. Um, I've had fungus gnats once in my plant growing career, and that was two years ago, and it was on, guess what, the same variegated monstera that was on that wooden plant. The plant. It's honestly the only plant I've ever really had. It's and it's always the same plant. It's clearly like clearly me and that variegated monstera are yeah. not having fun no, together, right? No, no. But that is the only time I've ever had uh, fungus nets, and it was definitely a result of me overwatering. So yeah. it was in an aeroid mix before, kind of affected my recipe a little bit, um, like two years ago, right? And I definitely overwatered it, or there wasn't enough aeration in that pot, and I've had um, root rot. And fungus nets are really attracted by rotting organic matter. That's yes. what they feed on. So they smell the root rot and they, they you buzz, know, buzz, they're like, buzz, oh, buzz, buzz. it's a beast. If you have fungus nets, it's probably because there's some sort of rotting organic matter somewhere and they want to feed on it. So I feel like maybe it's more a result of, um, you know, watering frequency or maybe the medium not being draining enough. But moss, especially in a moss pole with all of that surface area, actually extremely aerated it dries out so quickly because there's so much airflow mm. so at all the places where the fungus nets would want to live like the moss pot would be the last i yeah. would say right because yeah there is shouldn't hopefully be any rot in your moss pot so i think these fungus nets probably come from the potting medium mm. especially People are using these storeboard potting mixes. Oh, don't, 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 do not get me started about that. <laughs> yeah, don't buy them. Honestly, don't buy them. I don't, I don't, don't use soil, basically. Yeah. Whatever soil, organic stuff, like fungus nets are probably in there already. You pot No, them no, and it's not, do you know what? It's not they're probably in there. When you go, when you go to Bunnings and you go to the potting mix aisle, you can see them just buzzing all over the place. Yeah, very true. in those bags. Yeah, fair enough. So I, I stay away from them. And since I stopped using any sort of potting mix, store-bought potting mix, I haven't had any fungus nets. Mm, mm. And I have, oh my God, I don't know how many moss poles I've got, probably 40 or so, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I was assuming that the average person has way less moss poles. So if you have like one, two, th one to five moss poles, you don't have to worry about fungus nets at all. Definitely at not. You don't have to worry if you have 40, right? Now, I, I, I think the same, and I've said to people who've asked me this question, the same thing, that look, it's not the fungus gnats. I've got like, like you, I've probably got like 40 poles or whatever. Fungus gnats is not a problem. And to make matters even more interesting, because I grow my plants in Lekka, I just generally don't even have fungus gnats anyway. So if I was going to have fungus gnats, they'd be coming from the moss pole, if they were going to live on the moss pole, but I don't. So it's yeah. not the moss pole, it's just really examine your plant. Think very carefully, look at your mix, exactly what you said, examine everyone and see what's going on with your mix. Definitely. And I mean, any, well, what about other pests? And, uh, <laughs> that's, that's a whole other video. <laughs> no, but I mean, uh, in correlation to moss poles, <laughs> because I get that question a lot, like, and the and the pests live in the moss pole. What and I was pests? like, why would they want to, why would they want to live in the moss pole? Like the spider mites and thrips, literally their entire existence is based on sucking the yeah. juice out of our leaves. Not what the, are they not the moss. moss pole? They don't have anything to suck on in that moss pole. So <laughs> your thrips and spider mites are not gonna be attracted because of the moss pole. Exactly. They're gonna be your leaves, not the moss pole. <laughs> that just made me, yeah. Put all sorts of images in my head. That's <laughs> true though. Think about it. Come on. If you were a spider mite, you wouldn't want to live in like dried pressed space. No, on. there's nothing to suck on. You want to live on like the alocasia leaf, right? Yeah, let's not talk about alocasias, okay? <laughs> it's the naughty word, huh? So many naughty words. Or potting mix and alocasia. Alocasias, potting mix, fungus gnats, calatheas. We will not mention those.